what's going on classes welcome back to the synchronic gaming youtube channel i'm your host shide and we've got a war today we've got ftb so find that base maybe uh i'm not too sure but it's indoor uh jadol against synchronic gaming we have simon who's coming on in first with the root riders and the valkyries so let's see how he's able to get the job done right here we have got the king and queen over at the three o'clock side with the super wall breaker giving them accessibility right there as well uh a couple of valkyries over on the dark storage but the majority of the of the root riders and the valk coming in towards the six o'clock side jump spell giving the king accessibility for the multi inferno the ricochet cannon as well as the multi arch towers right there as well which could be absolutely huge we're moving on forward with that warden ability ice columns coming on our overgrowth of the town hall double scatter right there beautifully done we have got a couple of root riders now going in for that multi arch tower which the queen should be able to pick off nicely super barbs around the outside of the base just to speed up just a little bit we have got a couple of teslas at the one to two o'clock side of the base as well no more king ability remaining on this one which is a little bit scary at the moment we have got a bunch of root riders in the core of the base Overgrowth's about to wear off sooner rather than later. We're gonna have to freeze this town. No, we're gonna rage over the monolith, freeze the town hall and the one remaining poison tower. We have got the super minions that came on out of that siege bar to assist with those tests, which is absolutely fantastic. RC clears up the final defense on the base, and this is gonna be a sub one minute ten second three star from Simon. Very nicely done by him. We have Griffo now coming on in against a General X right here, trying to come in and get the job done. Let's see if they're able to do it. We have got the Root Riders over at, uh, we've got a Root Rider selected for this one with Valkyries. Super Bob at the three and six o'clock side of the base. King broken in for the six o'clock compartment with the jump spell, giving access to the Ricochet Cannons. Siege Bar is the three o'clock side. Looks like we're going to be sending the Root Riders directly in towards that monolith right here. No, we're not. We're sending the roots in from the three o'clock side as well with the peckers from the three uh, o'clock side, which is very interesting. King pops the ability warden and queen in behind right here as well. We're trying to push in towards the middle of the base. Um, everything gets raged up on the three o'clock side. King pulling out that CC is going to be absolutely huge because it doesn't stall up the root riders. Warden ability caught catches most of the, the troops in except for the Valkyries that have off to the left hand side of the base. But they're going to be able to clear up the ice columns in assistance of that king as well. Another rage leading over this town hall area. We're trying to keep these troops alive, keeping the momentum pushing and getting the job done. A couple more super bobs on the 12 o'clock side just to keep those wizards tracking and the defense is not able to pick them off. This warden ability was fantastic though because it kept everything alive. These raid spells have been really, really nice. RC still having her ability is absolutely huge. And she's right there in the middle tackling with the enemy queen right here. We're going to most likely pop the RC ability to be able to sweep up the rest of the base. It's not going to be as fast as Simon's opener. But it's definitely going to be a, a three star. And it's going to get the job done for um, indoor uh, Jadiel I guess. Um, to pick off the three star against synchronic so time is kind of out the window for this attack at the moment because it's nowhere near as quick as uh, simone's but that being said it is still a triple so that pressure is always going to be on regardless of time if synchronic slip up uh on on offense then they could have an opening and time wouldn't matter so gg to them for that triple here we go we have mark of synchronic gaming now coming in on god of find that base let's see what we're able to do right here to get the job done uh siege barracks at the six o'clock side king broken in towards the enemy king at the two o'clock side of the base sorry the four o'clock side of the base root riders coming on into the three o'clock section right here as well uh, they're going to push directly up towards this monolith and the ricochet cannon right there as well. Uh, King kind of veering off, might not take that jump spell unless he comes back to the expo, which it looks like he will. Skelly and rage spell over that monolith just to kind of push these root riders forward and keep that monolith at bear. Warden ability gets popped off. Catching that King inside of it was absolutely monstrous right here. We have a super dragon inside. We have the tornado trap spinning the King around, but once that tornado trap wears off, this town hall is going to be able to go down by the king as well. Fantastic king ability by Mark. Absolutely powering through the base. Queen and royal champion working on the scatter. Super minions coming on out of that siege barracks right there. Going to assist fantastically. Raging up at the top side again. Trying to get everything moving and just pushing forward so that they can get through these defenses as quickly as possible. RC ability gets popped off right here. And we're at 1 minute 10 seconds and the base is almost gone. It's going to be a sub 1 minute 15 3 star for Mark. Fantastic attack by him. Siege Barracks over at the 330 side of the base with the Skelly Tank with a single target Inferno. 
king and queen of the six o'clock side as well root riders are going to split because of the dead zone uh and these storages that kind of ruin the pathing of the root riders but they should be able to go back in a uh, single target inferno locking onto a root rider but will go down to the royal champion right there as well king is in the middle with the root riders pushing on forward warden ability has already gone off we overgrow the town hall and the monolith as well so we're saving that for the end right here. We freeze the scatter over at the top side, raging that as well. We're trying to get this RC pushing forward as quickly as possible. RC ability will have to be going off. Oh no, the RC ability finally goes off right there. With the freeze on the multi, with the freeze on the ground expo right here, RC does end up picking off the enemy hero also. World breaking in for the pecker over at the top side. Not looking too bad at the moment. Still have king ability, still have queen ability, still have a rage and a free spell remaining. King ability pops off perfectly over that town hall compartment would have been better to freeze that monolith instead of the town hall because it does do so so much damage but that being said this is looking very very strong at the moment for Tashiro will be coming on in getting that three star getting the job done for his team and pushing on forward and putting a little bit of pressure on synchronic gaming to keep up this triple streak keep it alive and keep everything rolling a beautiful attack by him is a relatively quick compared to their first hit as well so this is going to reduce their time by a lot which also is gonna assist in them kind of catching up to synchronic so very nicely done by him flip is now in for synchronic gaming in queen with that lalo let's see what he's able to do right here and sap lalo is also an amazing amazing attack strategy very very strong at town hall 16 super wall break of that royal champion allowing the king to step into that compartment queen is going to come into this warden uh, tower area compartment we're zapping out a scatter right here as well with the poison tower which is going to be absolutely huge it's going to reduce the damage on the king we send the rc in from the six o'clock side as well queen taking a little bit of damage from the warden tower right there but should be able to take it down no problem whatsoever most likely going to pop this queen ability if it has the healer pop it on it it will be very very nice one more super wall break still remaining right here most likely going to give the queen accessibility for the ground expo on the top side in the meantime lalo coming on in from the uh, 12 to 1 o'clock area right here as well uh blimp for the town hall we're going to rage up that blimp right there beautifully it should be able to take down the town hall and maybe even that scar shot which is going to be fantastic right there also Luna slowly starting to push in right here, trying to overwhelm this base as much as possible. The Yetis from that blimp just keep on going. They're going to assist in picking off this monolith as well. Oh my goodness, Philip with some incredible, incredible attacks right here. What am I watching? Beautifully done by him. And wow, I am very, very impressed with this triple right here. Very, very fast on the board as well. Time synchronic heavily in the favor of them and some beautiful attacks as well to get the job done and this is going to be fantastic as well uh so around about i said a sub maybe one minute 30 if he's lucky it might be a little bit slower than that but that being said it is a zaplalo and we love seeing it and 10 out of 10 creativity points ggs to philip third attack is now in ghost knight incoming for ftb right here so i'm assuming this is fine that best right here but a uh, very interesting hit right here as well so super bob's clearing up the six o'clock side super wall break coming in at the three o'clock section siege barracks place at the six o'clock side king is coming in from the three o'clock section right there as well root riders directly in to the four uh four four thirty side directly in between the king and the siege barracks right there queen was deployed with these root riders but we deployed the valkyries a little bit too early now some of them are going to go assist this king ice columns are going to freeze everything up root riders are keep on pushing on forward Double Rage Tower right here is a little bit scary right here, but Warden Ability is going to carry them through, pushing them forward just a little bit. King Ability yet to be popped. We Rage the King, we Rage the Valkyrie just to get a little bit more value from that compartment. Saving that King Ability for maybe like a wall where he can reach over and pick off these defenses. Beautifully done at the moment. Queen will be able to pick off this Town Hall eventually, which isn't going to be too scary. We Rage up the Valkyries right there, but it was a little bit of an interesting Rage for sure. It looked like that Rage is going to be going to waste right here, but the Queen is going to be able to pick off this Town Hall. No issue whatsoever. RC is still having ability. She's now locking onto the Eagle Artillery. Queen with ability as well. We're going to most likely pop this RC over this King, which would be quite ideal. We need to pop the RC sooner rather than later. Oh, no, we don't. We wait for the King to go down. Now we're going to pop that Royal Champion Hog Puppet Hairs file. Queen is going to pick up this Eagle Artillery. RC is going to clear up the remaining defenses. And it's going to be a relatively quick attack for Ghost Knight as well. It's just not going to be as quick as they wanted, but it is going to be getting the job done and pushing on forward right here as well so ggs to them and very very nicely done to ghost knight 
um, to get the three star over on Synchronic is going to be a little bit slower, like we said, but the cleanup is going to be fine. Everything is going to move pretty easily in and around the base, and that is going to be a very, very nicely done by them uh, to get the triple. It's going to be a very, very slow three star. So now time is definitely going to be out of the window um, for this team, but they can always play on a defense, and we're going to see how that's going to muster up in the future. Third line of attacks is in. Uh, General X now coming on in for Synchronic Gaming, dredging up this queen nice and early. Um, coming on in with a queen charge root rider by the looks of it. I haven't seen him do this in quite some time. Root riders down nice and early. Oh, this queen is going to be forced to ability. We finally get the healers down on the queen. It's going to be very, very late considering. Uh, now, how are we going to manage to play this off? Is the queen going to be able to survive? She should be able to right here. She's still fighting on those ice golems. A little bit stuck on them. Headhunt is now coming on in so we can time this warden ability. Catch all of these troops, including the queen inside of it. Uh, a royal champion at the 6 o'clock side working her way up. Super minions come out of this siege barrack very, very early on right here before hardly any of the base is down. We are a lot of time into this attack right here. And it's looking a little bit scary at the moment, I cannot lie. But the freeze on the town hall and the monolith is very, very nice. We also read up this royal champion trying to get as much value as we can. Freezing the town hall, freezing the monolith again. King clears up the court of the base with that goal ability. Queen still going. RC has to pop that ability right there as well. We have three loons in pocket that are going to come for the Teslas at the top side. Are we going to have enough to get the job done right here? It might be a slow attack. Is it going to even be a three star? We wall break the queen, giving her a little bit of an opening to keep on pushing, keep the momentum going. But this is where things start to get a little bit dicey and a little bit scary because it doesn't look like there's going to be enough firepower left with, with the expos. Oh, the um, Phoenix picks off one of the expos. Is she going to be able to pick up this eagle artillery? Oh my god, if she can take down this eagle, that would be absolutely huge. And it still gives General X the opportunity to three star because there will only be one expo standing. And it won't be too, too much damage right here. And we also have uh, three archers and a headhunter that can also tank some of these defenses just a little bit. So maybe if we get them to tank for the expo, it will actually be huge. But the expo locks onto the queen, so we can potentially like drop these archers for the AD. Yep, beautifully done right here. Oh, there's a headhunter that we dropped, which isn't a too, too big of a deal. We're losing healers. Oh, but but it's going to be just enough that frozen arrow clutching up right here this heavily reduces the time of synchronic gaming but with the other team having a couple of slow attacks it shouldn't be too bad at the moment as long as we manage to get that three star keep everything rolling it shouldn't be too bad and there we have general x incoming with his three star of the war right here keeping synchronic perfect for now and keeping the job going we've got vodka soda now incoming for um indoor jadel we have the king and the ice golem over at the five o'clock side a couple of super barbs at the six o'clock section of the base right here trying to get the job done um we have some skellies at the six o'clock side as well with the siege barracks incoming we asked it in the root riders in from the six o'clock side as well we're asking a lot of this king and it doesn't look like he's going to get near enough value that was intended by vodka soda right there as well we're going to most likely see a beautifully timed warden ability catching everything in that tone fantastically done right here double single in the core with these ice columns it's going to be a little bit dicey but that warden ability is definitely going to help just a little bit in kind of like slowing down these single infernos but we may lose one to two root riders it's not going to be the really the end of the world right here one single is going to go down relatively quickly town hall blast is going to cause a bit of an issue as well but the root riders are far out of it that one single target inferno causing a little bit of problems but with the queen on the inside of the base it shouldn't be too hard to deal with we have the rc incoming from the nine o'clock side of the base as well and there's not a lot of this base remaining right here Vodka Soda doing a great, great job of kind of breaking down this base and was able to take it down very, very easily. But we do have uh, a couple of more defenses at the top side. Still have the RC ability. We finally pop it, getting the Hog Puppet out. The Hair Spiral is going to start pushing forward a little bit quicker as well to clear up the remainder of these defenses. The Hair Spiral on the Hog Puppet on the Royal Champion. Absolutely incredible, incredible stuff for sure. Especially those Hogs, they assist so, so much. And this is going to be another three star for this team. Very, very nicely done by them. They're keeping the pressure on they're coming in with the with the wicked hits right here as well and trying their hardest to get the victory 
Einstein is now in with the final hit for Synchronic. Needs to three stars to keep the pressure on um, the other team. Let's see how we are going to be able to get the job done. Uh, Siege Barracks over at the 9 o'clock side. Queen at the 6 o'clock side with a couple of balloons to try to pick off that mortar as well. We have got the Super Barbs kind of moving on forward to make a little bit of a funnel. Root Riders directly coming on into the double um, export, double ricochet cannon and this Town Hall head. You freeze one of these ricochet cannons and the second one as well because they do so, so much damage. Waiting for these Valkyries to kind of catch up. They're going to catch a beautiful Ward Internal Tom Town Hall. It's going to go down. Expo will fly down as well. Now we just need to get through these Ricochet Cannons as quickly as possible. Super Wall breaking over at the 5 o'clock side to give Queen accessibility. She, she does have that healer puppet on her, so she can stay alive for a long, long time. RC coming on in from the 10 o'clock side. Super Minions in behind that came out of the Siege Barrel just to assist. Root Riders are going to work their way over towards this double multi target in front of our area. Did he really need an overgrowth for this area? That's the main, main question. And it looks like, yes, he's this, uh, elected to go for the overgrowth instead of raging up that whole compartment. Very, very interesting choice by Einstein. Could have maybe been quicker if he didn't use that overgrowth, but we'll see. Um, how speedy speedy he ends up becoming right here because the overgrowth takes around about 22 seconds to uh eventually run out which sometimes can be a little bit problematic now as you're going to notice right here all of the defenses are down we have to wait a few seconds for uh everything to come back right there but there we have it the king he's going to absolutely thrash through that one compartment it's going to be a sub 1 minute 33 star for einstein of synchronic gaming absolutely op team guys i cannot cannot that's how good they are. Final hit of the war is now in. God is incoming at the 6 o'clock side with the Queen. E drag at the 3 o'clock section. Root Riders coming on in from the 9 o'clock side. King is deployed in from the 7 o'clock side as well. Does have a jump spell. Most likely going to give King access to the Ricochet kind of multi inferno multi arch tower. Yep, very nicely done. Raise spell on the Root Riders. We drop the Royal Champion to assist those Root Riders as well with the Valkyries. King is going to pop that ability. Queen has got the healer puppet on her as well, which is fantastic. Warden ability goes off, absolutely beautiful, catching so, so much damage inside of that tome right there. Wonderful, wonderful work. We rage up over these ice golems and the, over the ice golems to kind of push the root riders and the peckers through into that multi-ricochet area. The hound hole will go down very, very quickly. Ice golem stalling everything up is just a little bit of a nuisance at the moment, but the root riders are trying to push on through. Valkyries are coming on out. That came out of the siege barracks, I believe. Uh, root riders have gone absolutely see a layer in the core of the base so it's all down to this queen it's down to these valkyries and the royal champion as well i uh, see tanking for that monolith which means that the queen should be able to snipe it with the valkyries tanking for the queen a little bit warden actually mvp right there man needs to get it down we have got a lot of time remaining so it should still be possible for the queen uh, to finish off this base, depending on the amount of health that she gets, her actually being on a max wall is going to actually help God right here, which means that the Queen is going to heal up a little bit more just to give her enough health to maybe, maybe pick off this ricochet cannon, maybe pick off this multi target inferno tower as well. She steps the right direction, which is fantastic. She's going to pick off this ricochet cannon just about now it's all down to this does she have enough hp no more healers left and it's queen versus multi inferno one hp left on the queen as she finishes off the multi that's gonna be a three star for them let's check out these war results right here who do you guys think won and it is synchronic that get the win on time but anyways thank you so much for watching guys it's been a pleasure catch you all in the next video